folks, Mary Ann here, the crotchety clogger. Um, I should explain, not crotchety, but I love to crochet and I love to clog. So today we are here for our fifth lesson in clogging. We are going to start off by reviewing a little bit of what we've done. We're going to review our double steps. We're going to review our single basics. And by the way, most of us will not go all out and say single basics. We'll just call it basics. Okay, so from now on when I say basic, you'll see what I mean. And um, we're going to review our kicks that we worked on in lesson number four. Um, what else? Oh, and we're going to learn two new steps if we can get to it. We're going to try. And one of those is going to be the chain step. Chain, as in linked together chain and the other step is called the cotton eyed joe step cotton eyed joe okay so let's get to it we'll let these reviews be a little bit uh, shorter okay so because you can always go back to the prior lessons to kind of review them on your own but of course we might as well review them a little bit right kind of get us in the in the spring of things and also, don't forget to do some really good warm-ups and get your muscles and your joints ready. Because the muscles help the joints get ready. So the stronger we can get those muscles, the better off our joints will be. Ah, speaking of body parts. I did Zumba the other day. And I did something a little bit too hard because my right hip is kind of acting up. So if I look a little wopsided or a little limpy, my apologies. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, let's get started. Let me move my chair out of the way here. And let's put this uh, camera down where we need to be so you can see my feet. I hope that's, oh yeah, that'll be good. Okay. All right, let's get started. Let's review a little bit on our double steps, okay? Um, Simple as pie. Remember, we got a really loose ankle, and we create those first two sounds. And remember, if you don't have all the sounds yet, that's okay. They will come the more you practice. So we got our double steps. See, sometimes I sometimes I miss a sound too. Okay, a double step, a double step, double step, a double step. I'm gonna go around again. Remember. We can travel, we can travel with these things. If you want a challenge, you can start trying to get yourself to travel backwards. Not only forward and in place, but hey, why not backwards? Yeah, in a circle, sideways, wow. Not a challenge. Not a challenge if you don't think of it as a challenge. It's just like all you got to think about is uh, I think I want to bring myself to the camera. So I'm going to think that way. Double stepping all the way. I ain't thinking about anything about what my feet are doing. I just want to make it to the camera. Ah, oh, see, I made it. All right, so now. I'm not thinking about my double steps. All I'm thinking about is making it back to the buffet furniture, piece of furniture back there. Let's see. I'm just going to see if I can make it there. And you know, it might take me a long time, but... Hey, I did it! Yeah, 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 yeah! <laughs> so, to me, a lot of times we think too hard about things, and, and, you know, we could take that and break it all down about the double and where you would step. And I can do that, but really, let's try the easy way first. Like, just think about getting there. Instead of how you get in there, just think about getting there. Okay, so let's go on to reviewing our double, I mean, our uh, single basics, okay? Single basics. So what that means, or more familiarly, basic. So here's the basic. We got our double step, and we put in our rock step. Right? Remembering that the rock is on the ball of the foot. Ready? Let's give it a try. Double step, rock step. 
and a one and two and a one and two and a one and two. Make my way around in a circle. Did you see I crossed over that time? Didn't think about it. Just kind of said, well, I got to get myself back to the front. Okay. Try the same. Can I make it to the camera? Well, of course I can. And I'm here. Can I make it backward? Back to that buffet furniture? Let's see. I'm not going to think about it. I'm just going to try to make it there. Right. Now, if you find that in your mind you're like, whoa, 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 what am I doing? Just breathe. Just breathe. Okay? We'll give it another try. Ready? Double step or rock step. That's what we'd be doing. All we're going to do is go backwards. Don't think about your feet. Just a, where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? Did it work? Now, admittedly, whew, that was a little harder, right? But, we, you know what? Let me know in the comments if you want me to actually break down what your feet are doing and where they're going, okay? I will be happy to do that. Let me know in the comment section down below, okay? Um, because right now I'm kind of just taking it the easy approach as far as just thinking about where you want to go, like I said before, rather than what your feet are doing. But I can break it down for you, no problem. What else did we work on? Oh, we worked on kicks. Uh, we worked on kicking uh, very easily, just a little kick. And the second part of our kick, yes, there is a second part, is where we bring the knee up a little, okay? And we relax our body down, okay? Because that is actually a downbeat. So we've got an upbeat on the straight part and one, right? Other leg would go and so what we did last time is we took a step and we did the, which is a downbeat, so we're down. Then we're going to do that little kick, easy, not hard, little kick, brings us up on the upbeat. And that little band, that, that rubber band, remember that rubber band right here, which is pulled a little bit, not too tall. And then we're going to release it on the, uh, on the downbeat. So we have one and two, one, and two, and one, and two, and one, and two. Do you remember right here in between? Right there, right there, where we put our double? I missed a sound. need something to hold my balance. <laughs> and a one and two 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 and a one two and a one. Yeah. Right. So and we also did a triple kick. Remember? Three double steps and a kick. Let's try that. Again I like this one when you're first starting out because the three double steps give you a little bit of time to think about that kick that's coming. Okay? So we got and a one, and a two, and a three. Kick it up. And a one, and a two, and a three. Kick it up. One, two, and a three. Kick it up. And a one, and a two, and a three. A kick yeah, I think that's all we have done thus far. I'll tell you what, let's try those things with music. What do you say? Let's try it. Now today, I'm going to uh, use a song that's just slightly bit faster. Uh, let me give you a hint. One thing that you can do on your YouTube screen, on the screen right now, you can, I think it's in the upper right hand corner of the video, you can do a little tap, I think, and see that it, it, you can slow down 
the video a little bit or speed it up if you want to, okay? So that may help you a little bit if I'm going too fast or if I'm going too slow. My voice might sound kind of funny, chipmunk e or e or e e or e, uh, but that don't matter. The main thing is get it at a speed where you're comfortable. All right, so let's review these things. Where's some music? Here we go. Let's start off. Let's just start off with our double steps, okay? I need a sweat rag too. Okay guys, let's do something new. Let's do something new. I would like to do a step called a chain. C-H-A-I-N. Chain. And you know what? It's pretty easy. You know, you already know how to do every little part that's in a chain. All it's got in it is a double step to start off, and then you do three rock steps. So we already know how to do rock step, right? So watch. I'm going to start with my left foot with a double step. Now I'm going to do three rock steps, okay? And one, two, and three. Cool. Let's try it with the right foot because my right foot's ready to go. Is it loose? Here we go. Double step, rock step, and two and three. Here comes my lefty. And a one and two. Did you notice something? Let's do one more time on the right. And a one, rock step, rock step, rock step. Yes. Okay, guys. I am a creature of counting with music, which means that, okay, I told you, we got to do a little bit of math here, very elementary. I told you that there was a double step and three rock steps, right? Okay, so when we talk about counting with music, 
that double step takes up one beat of music, one beat. And there's three rock steps, okay. One rock step takes up one beat, yeah? We're gonna do three of them. One, two, three. How many beats we got? You are correct. Ta da! A one, two, three, four. We got four beats. All right, so let's try that. Left foot first, and a one, and two, and three, and four. See? Right? So I am so habitually ingrained to do it that way. You don't have to. You can think of it like this. Double step and one and two and three. That's fine. Either the way your brain works for you is the best way to do it. Okay? Just forgive me if I continue to count it out like as if I'm doing with music. I'm just ingrained that way. As some people are ingrained in counting it the three rock steps as, you know. But anywho. Okay, now, oh. One thing, uh, another thing I wanted to let you know about, when you, d if you don't have your double steps yet, if you don't have all those sounds, that's perfectly fine. What you'd want to do in that case is just leave the double toe off of your double step, and you have a step. So we put that all together, it would be step, rock, step, rock, step, rock, step. Yep, let's try that. Left foot first. So we're not going to put any of that loosey-goosey double in there. We're just going to go step, rock, step, rock, step, rock, step. Other side. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Make sense? All right. So if you notice, instead of doing the end of one and two and three and four, we did one and two and three and four. Works either way. Okay, let me show you how these chains are typically done. Usually, they are done and they have you moving side to side. Okay, check it out. Make sure I'm in the chain. Yeah, all right. So watch. We'll start off with my double step. And remember, you can, do, you can do a step rather than a double step if you wish. I'll start off with a step. Check it. One and two and three and four. Four. Now I'm going to go to the right. One and two and three and four. So, did you see how those rock steps kind of had you pushing yourself sideways from one side to the other? That's how they work. That's typically 99% of the time how you're going to see chains done. Alright folks, I'm going to be back in just a minute. The husband just got home so I'm going to let him settle in so he's not in interruption. We love him anyway. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Where were we? Oh, the chain step. All right. So, taking a step, three rock steps, making us move side to side. All right, I'm going to start going to the left. Here we go. Step, rock, step, rock, step, rock, step, and right, and a left. Double toe in front of the first step. Double step a rock step, rock step, rock step. Double step a rock step, rock step, rock step. <clears throat> Some people call these pushes rather than chains. Either way, it's the same. you'll see them go Woo! like that. I don't often do that. If I want to get kind of wild with it, I do, but kind of gets my knee when I push off like that. So let's try some chains with music, okay? Here we go. All right. I'm going to start off with a plain old step and then add the double step as we go. Okay? To the left.
good. So there's your chains. Some people, like I said, call them pushes. Let's touch on one more step today. It's called the Cotton Eyed Joe Step. Now, you'll find out more about Cotton Eyed Joe later, but one of the main steps for that, and, and I call it the Cotton Eyed Joe Step, pretty easy. All you gotta do, and I'm gonna start, uh, I'm gonna start with my right foot. Mirror, mirroring me, you will start with your left if you uh, consider me as a mirror, okay? So, we're gonna touch our heel. Now, be aware that all my weight is on this leg, and I'm simply touching my heel to the floor. So if I had to, I could lift it. Right? I have no weight on that heel whatsoever, okay? Now, I'm on this with the same leg, I'm going to touch my toe, okay? Again, it's only touched. All my weight is here. If I had to, I could lift it, okay? So, let's try that again. We got the touch of the heel and a touch of the toe. Now, we are going to lift it because we're going to do a step, rock, step. You ready? Step, rock. Step. Cool. Check it out. Now my other foot's ready. For you, it would be your right if you're mirroring me. All right, we're going to touch our heel. Again, just touching. And then we're going to touch our toe. We're going to do a step, rock, step. Here we go. Step, rock, step. And now it's the other side's turn. Heel, toe, step, rock, step. Heel, Toe, step, rock, step. Heel, toe, step, rock, step. Heel and a toe and a step, a rock, a step, and a heel. A toe, a step, a rock, a step. If I counted it, one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One more time. Joe step. All right, check this out. Let's add our double toe. Can you guess where? Can you guess? Can you guess? Okay, here we go. We touch our heel. We touch our toe. Right here, we're going to do a double step. Rock step. Touch your heel. Touch your toe. Double step. Rock step. Heel. Toe. Now, what, what is this thing called right here coming up? Did you say basic? Or did you say single basic? If you did, you're right. Heel. Toe. Single basic. Heel. Toe. And a basic. Uh-huh. Heel. Toe. Double step. A rock step. If you notice, I like to kind of strike my toe on the floor um, because I know you can strike your heel too but I know that when I do the toe I'm gonna have to get ready for that double so I'm not gonna leave it down there because then it's harder right so when I when I say strike I'm not talking about making a super like loud sound I'm talking about boom right so it, it, it touches and it, it uh, rebounds, if you will. It strikes. Um, <laughs> here's a good analogy. Kind of like a snake, right? I know this is, this is ew, cre creepy, but like a snake, when they strike you, they don't, I don't know for sure, but let's pretend <laughs> that when a, a snake strikes, he's going to go, whoo whoo Rather than, right? He'll strike. Let's pretend this. Now, I may be completely wrong. I don't know. But we're going to pretend that when the straight snake strikes, he's going to take that bite and release. Bam, bam. So, we're going to think of the same way with the toe is striking the floor. And the step, rock, step. Heel, toe, double step, rock, step. Or, heel, toe. Toe, step, rock, step. Either 
way is just fine because you still will be on the same beat. You want to try it with some music? Let's do it. And that, folks, is called the Cotton Eye Joe Step, or at least that's what I call it. Here we go. Let's give it a try. I'm going to turn myself around, okay? Starting with the left. angle the camera where you can see me. <laughs> so that was called the Cotton Eye Joe Step. So what did we do today? Let's see. We reviewed a few things. We learned the chain step. Yep. And we learned the Cotton Eye Joe Step. There's lots of different ways to do that Cotton Eye Joe Step, but we'll touch on that in a later episode. <laughs> uh, but I do want to let you know, coming up, and I think it might actually even be our next lesson. We're going to do a dance, y'all. We're going to do a dance. Woo -woo. We're going to do the Cotton Eye Joe. Yes, because guess what? You know every step that's in that dance right now. Wow, can you believe it? Okay, we'll do that next time, okay? Now, instead of calling that lesson number six, I'm going to call it clog dance tutorial cotton eye joe okay because there'll be a lot of dances that we do and the lesson numbers are going to be committed to learning steps okay and then the the dance tutorials will be committed to learning dances all right we're getting there folks we are getting there we got to have a vocabulary of steps in our repertoire and then We'll be able to do a bunch of dances and it'll be so much fun. All right. Now, don't forget, talk to your doctor about starting any type of exercise program or clogging program because this is exercise, guys. And I actually think it helped my hip a little bit today. It was kind of tight from Zumba. Hey, hey, Maxie Boo, do you see my kitty cat? There's his tail. <laughs> I think he's as bored as all of us. All right, guys. We will see you next time. Keep practicing. Any questions, leave them in the comments. I will answer or send me an email. I have my email um, in the description box of every video. At least I hope I do. Okay? And I will, um, at the beginning of this video, or at the end maybe, I'll put some tags for finding some of these other lesson numbers for you, okay? Love to all. Again, this is Mary Ann, the Crotchety Crogger. Crotchety Crogger. <laughs> Let's try that again. The Crotchety Clogger. There we go. And I'm Mary Ann, guys. Love y'all, and I'll see you next time. Bye.